How's it going everybody? I'm uh, putting up a pickup, an Xbox pickup slash Dead Island Impressions video. <clears throat> I was going to do the Dead Island Impressions video by itself, but then yeah, I just checked the mail and uh, the game I had, the guy I've been waiting for for a little bit came, so that's cool. But, uh, first I'll do the, uh, I guess I'll do the impressions on Dead Island, it's right here. Pick this up on Saturday. It's a, re it's a really cool game. It's, it's it's a really cool game. It has some issues, but it is really cool overall. It's open. It's open world. The main enemies are zombies right now. I put about 12 hours into it, maybe a little more. So I have been playing it. And it seems fairly long. I'm about 60% complete on the, uh, or exactly 60% complete on the main quest. There's a decent amount of side missions, which I'm doing some now to get some more experience. This game borrows from like Left 4 Dead and Dead Rising. <clears throat> Well, Dead Rising 2, and, uh, you know, because Left 4 Dead, it has, like, certain enemies that are kind of like Left 4 Dead enemies, and it has, obviously, it's zombies, so that's, like, a bunch of games, and uh, Dead Rising, it has Dead Rising 2, like, you can create weapons and stuff like that, combine stuff. <clears throat> you know, this game is, it, it looks, it's a good-looking game. There are some issues with it, like, when you escort people, it's annoying, because they, like, run in front of you, and then, like, they just, like, run into enemies and stuff, and it, it's kind of annoying and they look like they have a stick up their ass when they're when they're running it's weird like they're crouching but they're not it, it, it's bizarre and like this is like a little mini game you do when like a, a zombie grabs you you gotta hit the right trigger and then hit the left trigger while before it gets through this little circle thing on the screen and it like happens like all the time at least for me it does I, I don't know if it's like this with everybody but like I'll be going up behind a zombie to hit him with like a weapon I'll go to hit them, they'll turn around and just grab me as if they just like magically went through the weapon that was coming at their head. So that's a bit annoying. <clears throat> but the combat actually is pretty fun. You can make some cool weapons, you get mods and stuff, and you combine the stuff and make some cool weapons. Like a deodorant bomb, you get Molotov cocktails, I got barbed wire on bat, I got a, I just got a flame mod, I got like a shock mod on a machete and stuff like that. So that's cool. <clears throat> pretty big uh, landmass too, the area is, is big. <clears throat> I've been playing, I've been a bunch. Did, I've done a bunch of missions with a friend over Xbox Live, which is cool, but you can't, like, progress. I think you can do side quests get done together, I think. Like, they'll, they'll go on both if you're in their game or they are in your game. But I didn't, uh, main quest storylines will not, like, I think you have to do those yourself or something. But you will, can, you'll get, like, credit for doing that mission each time, and you'll get the experience for it if you do it more than once, which is cool. You'll get it each time, the experience. I played with some other people, popped in for a few minutes, I wasn't talking to them or anything, and then they left. I mean, right now I'd probably give the game about an 8. <clears throat> like I said, it's got, it's got some issues, like there's some glitches here and there, like I was playing with my friend and uh, we were both trying to take out these punks because there's also human enemies you can kill. And like, we, out of nowhere we were both just getting like shocked to death and the game like froze, so <clears throat> there are glitches and enemies will like glitch into doors and, and like pipes and stuff. And there's like an annoying part where you're in the, you were t you spent a lot of the second act, well I'm still on the second act, but running through the sewers and that got annoying because there's enemies there, you gotta dodge them, they're all over the place. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Overall it's pretty cool though. You can choose between four characters in the beginning. <clears throat> but uh, definitely a cool game. I may put up a, a gameplay video review of it when I'm done with it, I don't know for sure though. <clears throat> but definitely pretty cool. And uh, now for the pickup. Very happy to get this. I got this off Glide. It took for a little while to get. Well, I guess maybe not. I got it on the four. I, I bought it on the fourteenth, and it got here today. So, eh, almost two weeks. That's not too bad. But uh, it is an Xbox game, original Xbox game. I got this for. Uh, it was seventeen. It would have been seventeen fifty-eight with. Uh, with uh, shipping, but I had like a five dollar coupon on the Glide website, so it ended up being twelve fifty-eight. <clears throat> and that game is Fatal Frame. Complete. So we got the uh, couple Tecmo registration cards or whatever those are. Definitely cool. Disc is in good shape as well. So you do have to wait a little bit on uh, Glide, but it's worth it because you get those little like 
dent in the fan cave, but that doesn't really matter for the price. This is in good shape for the uh, for the price of this game at twelve fifty eight total with shipping. It is a great great uh, price. Glide's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, I, I never beat this. I don't think I did. I was at the like towards the end of it. I may have. I can't remember when I had it originally on the Xbox. But uh, it's a, this game is creepy. For me, this is not Silent Hill, the two creepiest game series, the Fatal Frame and Silent Hill games. But I can't wait to get into this one. I'll definitely put gameplay up of this, because this is, this is what I wanted. So I'm very happy to add this into the collection. I do have another game on the way I got from eBay for the uh, Xbox as well. But definitely cool to get this for that price. <clears throat> put it over here. I do have a bunch of games on this, just the discs. I think obviously yeah, you know that. I may, I may try to replace, you know, just get if the if they're cheap enough, like under five or like under six bucks. With shipping, I would like to replace some of these games. A lot of these are good ones too. But like I said, I got them at GameStop for dirt cheap, so they're like seventy five percent off. So I'm not gonna complain. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about Dead Island and uh, show that pickup. So thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good day.